الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه وأهل بيته ومن اتبع سنتي أجمعين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله تبارك وتعالى من أجل ذلك كتبنا على بن إسرائيل إنه من قتل نفسا بغير نفس أو فساد في الأرض فكأنما قتل الناس جميعا ومن أحياها فكأنما أحيا الناس جميعا صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم والعاقبة للمتقين ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاهدين وشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين In this ayah of Surah Al-Ma'idah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this has been ordained in the people of scripture of the Bani Israel, the people before us whoever have killed a soul unjustly as if that person has killed the entire humanity and whoever have saved a life as if he has saved the life of entire humanity. In Surah Baqarah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayyuhu lazina amunu sta'inu bis sabri wa salat inna Allah ma'a sabirin ولا تقولوا لمن يقتل في سبيل الله أنفات بل أحياهم ولكن لا تشعرون ولا نبلونكم بشيء من الخوف والجوع والنقص من الأموال والأنفس والثمرات وبشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا إن لله وإن إليه راجعون أولئك عليهم صلوات من ربهم ورحمة وأولئك هم المهتدون Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, O oh, you who believe, Ya ayyuhu alladhina amanu, anybody who is a Muslim and a person of faith, seek help from the patience and the salah. As today we have gathered here about remembering our brother, Arshad, Arshad Sharif, who was being brutally murdered and assassinated, and his life was taken unjustly. And also I was told by brother Varaj Sahib, may Allah bless him, he's always doing these things and keep inviting us on the good activities. Allah is saying, seek help from the patients and the salah. When we have nowhere to go, we seek the help from Allah and be patient with it. And Allah says, Inna Allah ma'asabirin. Those who lost their loved ones, if they have patience, and we can imagine what happened, and we have not seen such a tragedy in the history of Pakistan that this gentleman was killed for no reason, and he was trying to do it for the good for the country. And we should also know, and I'm sure you all are very intelligent and educated people, you are here today because we understand what we are here for. So I don't need to reiterate my point, that the point is a group of Pakistani, as a Pakistani, as expatriate Pakistani, we feel pain for our country. I can tell you about myself, I'm not part of any political party, never voted in Pakistan, I left country. When I was young, I left Pakistan when I was not even age of voting. So I never voted in the country. The fact remains that emotionally, even all of us who are not living in the country, we are disturbed for the last six months. What happened, I'm telling about myself that I'm not sleeping at night till further I keep watching the news. And we just hope for some good will come for us, which was coming for our country. After so long, we were having a hope. And as a Pakistani, we were feeling some good is happening. So from here point of view, what we are looking for there, it is our country and we just cannot be abandoned. We may not find good, but we have to be patient and we have to do the salah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam says, Dua can change the destiny. So we have to make dua and our best efforts with the sincerity. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Allah ma'asabirin wa la taqulu le man yuqtalu fi sabili lahi amvaat bal ahyam. Do not say who have died in the path of Allah that are dead but they are alive. Wa la kin la tash'uru. You cannot comprehend that. Wa la nablu wa nakum. We will test you. Min al khawf from fear. Wa al jiu from hunger. Wa naqsa min al amwal from the loss of possession. Well, anfus, and from your life. What sabiri? Alladina idha asabatu musiba. When a hardship is strike upon them, qalu inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. They say it has come from Allah and has returned back to Allah subhanahu wa taala. As we know, our brother Ashad Sharif, we never met him. I do not know. We heard him. We watched him. What he was talking about is good for the country. So these, when he lost his life, everybody felt that somebody from our family had lost. But Alhamdulillah, he's alive. He's getting sustenance with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and every martyr who has given their life in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, 
Alladina iza asabatum musiba. When a hardship is striked upon a person, the people of Iman, what they say? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. That one has come from Allah and has returned back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Hajj, وَالَّذِينَ هَاجِرُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ قُتِلُوا أَوْ مَعْتُوا لَيَرْدَقَنَّهُمُ اللَّهُ رِزْقًا حَسَنًا وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَهُ وَالْخَيْرُ الرَّازِقِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those who immigrated, and he was forced to immigrate from the country. And many of us who have immigrated from the country for reason, فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A Muslim travel in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am from the family of immigrants from India to Pakistan. My parents told me how much suffering they have done. Making of Pakistan was not a joke. In the history of humanity, more than 100,000 people lost their life and girls were kidnapped and they were kept as a prisoner and a slave and they were lost from the family and divided. And still they have not recovered. So those who are left behind in Pakistan, in India, they are suffering. Those who immigrated and those who are living in Pakistan are suffering because of some of our mistakes. We cannot blame people from outside for our wrongdoing. And we all understand. It's not by, I'm not a political speaker, but we can see where we do wrong. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those who immigrated in the path of Allah and got killed, or matu, they died natural death. If we make our mission that we have immigrated in the path of Allah to make our life better, to give our family a better life and make this country we immigrated a better place, it is the fee sabilillah journey. And when we are coming to America, when we first came in, we did not have to massage it. I was resident in Bahamut Medical Center and we used to travel to Edison to perform one Salat al Taravi. Marana Islahi used to come 45 minutes, one drive, and by the time you come back, it's already night gone in the Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, now we have massages every 20 minutes driving distance. We have our second generation and third generation coming of Muslim who are doing better for the country. Today in America, we had about 200 some plus people ran for the office and out of them, 100 and plus have become now official. So this is where we want to bring a change of a good change in the country. And if we die in America, for just natural death. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَيُرْزَقْنَاهُمْ لَيُرْزَقْنَاهُمْ Allah ta'ala has given a better rizq for us when we die. Hasanan, a beautiful sustenance. Wallahu khairu razaqin. Allah is the best of the provider of the sustenance. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Ma'idah, يَا أَيُّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا O you who believe, كُونُوا قَوَامِينَ لِلَّهِ شُهْدَاءَ بِالْقِسْتِ Be firm and the witness for the truth. وَلَا يُدْرِمَنَّكُمْ شَنَعْنٌ قَوْمٍ عَلَىٰ أَلَّا تَعْدُلُوا عَيْدُلُوا هُوَ عَقْرَبُ لِلْتَّقْوَ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ خَبِيرٌ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding to the Muslims that all you who believe is stand out firmly for Allah as just witness and let not the enmity and hatred of other make you avoid justice. Be just. That is nearer to the piety and fear Allah. Verily Allah is well acquainted with what you do. And this is a command for us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are seeing the injustice. An ex-Prime Minister of Pakistan is not getting his FIR being written. Where in the world this happened? I don't see anywhere in the history of humanity that a country which is made in the name of Islam, a person who has been assassinated and everybody's witness, will have witnessed that attempt. And the FIR is not allowed to be cut on his written on his name. How would we do? The people who are average, and we know we all have dealt with this services what we get in the country which we love. The hubbul watan, the love of a nation. Islam teaches us wherever you are, that is your nation, that is your country. We immigrated here and we left. What is our country? Where we grew up and our childhood was spent. We always love that. We cannot say we are not Pakistani. But we are first Muslim Pakistani and we are Muslim Pakistani Americans also. So we should have the right. When America gave us right to vote, Pakistan should give us the right to vote. There are other countries they allow to vote their citizens out of the country. Why our right has been taken? Most people who send revenue to the country, you know, I don't need to preach the choir, that we are the one who's sending money from this country. I can just say about myself, I am employing people from my practice of medicine in Pakistan, five people. Their jobs, they are getting paid, their household is running, their families are running. And I'm sure many other brothers and sisters who are doing a lot of good work for the country. And we want to do more. We buy land. We want to spend, invest in the land there. And we do not know what happened. I had a property, but I don't know what happened with that. So this is what is happening to the country. You cannot trust. 
And this is what Imran Khan was saying that people want to come and we see our neighboring country citizens who are investing in the country by putting investment and making things and we as a Pakistani who want to do it, we still cannot do it. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the just ability to be just and honest and help the country. And there and here also. As we are dealing with the country here, the citizens of our fellow citizens in the United States, we are also serving them and we are helping them as a Muslim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kuntum khaira ummatan ukhrijat linnas. Ta'amuruna bil ma'aruf. Wa tanhauna anil munkir. Wa tu'aminuna billah. You are the bestest of the best nation Allah has ever created. Khairan ummat. Ukhrijat linnas. You were raised for the mankind. So we are supposed to be server of the world and we promote the good, forbid the evil and believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So love for the country is in fitra of insan. We love ourselves. First we love our nafs. Hubb nafs Then hubb al-ahl wa al Our family and our relatives, our friends, our acquaintances, our town, our country, our city. So love is a human nature. We love that and we will love our country and inshallah Allah will bring it easy for the people. And then sometime when we do efforts and we do not succeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not judge people on the success or the failure. Hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Inna mal All of your dreams are dependent upon your intention. Today we have gathered here with this intention to be helping the country and to remember and see what we can do. Each one of us has a lot of potential, whatever we can offer. We should not think that individual cannot do. Prophet ﷺ was one man. He changed the humanity. Qaid Azam was one man. Changed the history of subcontinent, the biggest community. Allah Iqbal was one poet. He wrote the poetry which just inspire us today still. So one man can make a difference and we should be that man. If something happened to Imran Khan, which is, you know, they are attempting on him. But we should not let the cause be lost. Inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect us in our country and Islam. And inshallah, Allah ta'ala will bring peace to Pakistan and good will come to it.